In this video, we'll show you how to import data from external storage to a PowerStore cluster. This video only covers SAN or block imports. It doesn't cover NAS or file imports. Using the PowerStore Manager, you set up a connection from the PowerStore cluster to another Dell storage system and any host connected to it. During the import process, the selected source volumes are copied to the PowerStore volumes and host I.O. from the PowerStore cluster is forwarded to the remote source system. After the import is finished, hosts and PowerStore cluster access to the source are removed. Before we start, there are a few things to note. Imported storage can come from Dell EMC Unity, Storage Center, Equalogic, or VNX2 storage systems, and some operating system requirements apply. To perform the import process, you must have administrative privileges to the PowerStore cluster. The PowerStore cluster must have network connections to both the source storage system and the connected hosts for management control and data transfer. You'll also need an iSCSI connection from PowerStore to the source system. However, the connections between the host and source system and the host and PowerStore cluster can either be iSCSI or fiber channel. When fiber channel connectivity is used between the host and the destination PowerStore cluster, the administrator should set up fiber channel zoning between the host and the destination cluster. For more information, refer to the Importing External Storage to PowerStore guide. Also, the destination PowerStore cluster must be configured to match the storage environment on the source system. It is recommended that you use the same NTP server on the source system, which hosts the source storage system, and the destination PowerStore cluster. For hosts, ensure that the host plugin is installed on each host system connected to the source system. If you have a host group, the host plugin must be installed on each of the hosts within the group. Multipath I.O. must be running on any host connected to the source system. Finally, confirm that the PowerStore cluster has network access to the hosts. Next, gather some basic information about the source storage system and its connected hosts. You'll need the information shown on screen. Also make sure that the PowerStore cluster has network access to the storage system where the source storage resides. For hosts, you'll need the following information shown on screen. Some compatibility restrictions apply when importing storage to PowerStore, such as operating system requirements for the source storage system and the host plugin compatibility requirements. For more information about these requirements, refer to the Importing External Storage to PowerStore guide. After you've gathered any required network and storage environment information, downloaded and installed host plugins, and validated system and compatibility requirements, you can log into PowerStore Manager and create an import job. From PowerStore Manager, under Migration, select Import External Storage. Select a source system from the list of discovered systems, then select Import Storage. Complete the wizard using the information you collected earlier. After you complete the wizard, the system generates a summary of the import session information. Make sure that the import session information in the summary is accurate and complete, then click Begin Import. To view the progress of ongoing import jobs, under Migration, select Imports. To view the progress details of a specific ongoing import job, click the state of that import job. You can also cancel, commit, pause, resume, or clean up import jobs from this page. Import sessions are not automatically deleted. To delete the import session, use the delete operation available through the REST API. For more information and help with other aspects of your PowerStore system, visit the PowerStore documentation page at dell.com slash PowerStoreDocs.